welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from a Heart. Hope you guys are really, really well. So today is your um, 21 card Gypsy Tarot Love Spread for the month of February 2017. Um, this is the month of love, so it has a little bit more significance, I guess, for some people. Some people want to find love, some people want to enhance their relationships some people want to make their relationships better some people want to end their relationships just depends but yeah this is your reading 21 cards you know what it is by now the 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 gypsy tarot we're going to meditate on that in a moment um advice cards i've decided to introduce advice cards these are cards that i very rarely use at the moment these decks but they i use them on special occasions like this and after your reading you have advice cards coming from the romance angels Doreen Virtue, the lovely Doreen Virtue. Healing with the Angels, an advice card again from the lovely Doreen Virtue. Only, only if I feel that you need this card in the reading, it just depends. If I feel that you need this card, we've got advice from the Psychic Tarot of the Heart from John Holland. And definitely, if I feel you need it, we'll have an advice card from the Esther and Jerry Hicks, Getting Into the Vortex, amazing cards. Okay, right now then, we're going to concentrate on your reading. Universe Spirit showing what's coming in for Libra. Show me Libra and their love lives in the month of February 2017. Show me Libra and love. Show me Libra and love. What's coming in for Libra and their love lives? Show me Libra and love. Libra and love. What's coming in for Libra? Show me Libra and love in the month of February 2017. Show me their mental and emotional state around love. I only want to see Libra. Just give me Libra, some moon and rising signs. All I want to see is Libra. Mental and emotional state towards love. Some moon and rising signs in February 2017. Present situation concerning love. Hopes and desires for Libra, some moon and rising. Expectations concerning love lives in the month of February 2017. Any hidden factors that Libra isn't seeing but that's connected with them, that's coming in. For Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising signs, either in February or later. The immediate future concerning Libra and their love lives in February 2017. And the overall outcome for their love lives, Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising signs in the month of February 2017. And the only, only want to see Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising signs and only want to see their love lives in February 2017, show me. Okay, so we have... Shuffle the cards, splitting the deck, collecting that back up. What we're going to do is start laying the cards. You should be able to see that. I'm using the big table because it's just uh, more apt to do this, this type of reading. It's just got more space, you see, to show the cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Move this up a little bit here. Yeah, it can take a little bit of time to get the. But at the beginning of the video, there should be a timing, you know, telling you when it actually starts, so you'll be able to, if you want to just move along. There we go. Okay. Right. So, got all the cards shoveled and everything. Let's see what's going on around your mental and emotional state around love them. What's the energies around that? Wow. Three of Cups. That's lovely, Libra. Very nice indeed. Three of Cups, reunions, collaborations, expanding your network, your friendships, the people that you know. Going out, celebrating, having a good time, socialising, partying, drinking, um, you know, making new friendships, three of cups. So it's really, really good, the energies around what your mental and emotional state is, around what you're thinking here. Uh, very positive. You can't really, you know, um, 
you know, you, you can't really misinterpret the Three of Cups as being a negative card, really. Not unless it's, like, aspected by something nasty. Sometimes this can be a nasty card, it's gossip. You know, it's where women form in gangs to gang up on other females. Sometimes where they gossip. Yeah, that, that can be a negative card when it shows up in those types of ways. But other than that, this is your mental and emotional state around what your love lives are, what your mental and emotional sort of stand is on your love life, and it's good. Some of you... The energies might be around a reunion with someone. For some of you, Libra, the energies might be around, well, I'm going to go out and get myself pissed, get a drink, you know, have a good time. Valentine's is coming up. Meet new people, maybe online dating with this card. Three of Cups is about group energy. Um, you know, it's going to be about going out and socialising, that type of thing, making new friendships, making new alliances, that type of thing. Very good energy. Watch you. This should be a good card that shows here. All right. If it's a bad card that shows here, then this might not be so good. Could represent drink or something like that. Let's see what your mental and emotional state is around love. Well, yeah, I mean, it figures. Knight of Swords is, I'm going to get it. I'm getting in there. That type of thing. That's what your Knight of Swords is. And that's kind of you as well, Knight of Swords, your Libra. Even though Knight of Swords is Gemini energy. Some of you guys, your your mind might be on a Gemini person because Knight of Swords is a Gemini. It might be on a fellow, <clears throat> it might be on a fellow uh, air sign, but this is not a good card to be thinking of anybody as here, because if your mind is on a Knight of Swords, this is not a committed individual here. Knight of Swords never are. Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. Watch out for those dudes in the tarot when it comes to love, because they're not in it for the long haul. They're just not. They want to rush in. That's what Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands do. They want to rush in. They want to get their kicks, they want to get their bits and bobs, and then they want to leave. So the energies around that three of cups is girls sometimes, you know, and therefore the mental and emotional state is the knight of swords. You know, uh, three of cups is having, you know, a good time with females sometimes. All right, if we were to look at the sexist, not sexist, but the, the, um, the sexual sort of uh, element around these cards. Sometimes this is girl parting, and the Knight of Swords fits right in with that. Mentally and emotionally, the Knight of Swords, though, for you guys, represents confidence. You know, you're not afraid. This is the card that said, this isn't about no reunion here. This isn't a reunion card for you guys here. The energy isn't around that. It can't be. For me, it can't be, because you've got this Knight of Swords here. If it was a reunion, maybe I'd be expecting to see something like a Two of Cups here in your mental and emotional factors here. But the Knight of Swords is somebody who wants to just bowl in there. They're ready. They are ready. And they're not afraid to go out there and do their thing. Not afraid to go into a party scene. They're not afraid, afraid to meet people. They're not afraid to, you know... Um, this person wants to show what they're made of. This is what the Knight of Swords is. You often see him out on a night out with his mate, Knight of Wands. I've seen two of those two together in readings. You know, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. Two fast and furious guys on the hunt so some of you guys mentally you're on a you know you're in pursuit of something here this is fast fast moving energy fast moving thoughts mental thoughts fast 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 very very good cards i mean i wanted you know this knight of swords is also you know we can't just interpret it as a what you're really thinking mentally sometimes this is uh wanting things to move really really fast you're on a quest. Knight of Swords is always on a quest, and so is its mate, Knight of Wands. So mentally and emotionally, you might be on a quest here, and the energies are around the Three of Cups. It might be to enjoy yourself, might be to meet others, might be to, you know, just simply have a good time. But the energies are that Three of Cups, and mentally and emotionally, you might be on a quest with this card. But we'll see what this is about, the Knight of Swords, while you're mentally and emotionally the Knight of Swords. Well, because you're worried. It's based on worry, Nine of Swords. Are some of you guys worried about being on your own? I'm wondering, because Knight of Swords could also be mentally and emotionally, you're restless. This is what I was saying. So the root issue of this, when you do the 21 card, this is how I do mine. This is how I was taught how I do mine. This card here, well, this card here is the reason for why this is happening here. Maybe this is a fellow earth sign, air sign that's got some of you guys worried. Sometimes when you get another uh, court card that shows in the mental and emotional or anywhere along here, this is somebody else. 
there's two ways for me to look at this. This is either with the Knight of Swords, but this is not good either way, because if this is you guys here with the Knight of Swords who are on a mission, and the Knight of Swords is on a mission mentally and emotionally to get to a certain destination here, to achieve something, which is what the Knights are. They're about the adventures that people take, how quickly you do things. You're wanting to reach a particular goal here. And that the reason for this is because of worry. And it's feeding through to the Three of Cups energy. And therefore the energies might be around some form of alcohol consumption around this situation. You guys, there's a worry going on here for some of you guys, that Nine of Swords. And it's feeding through to the crowning area. The energy is being the Three of Cups, partying, drinking. And that's because mentally and it's mentally and emotionally with that Knight of Swords, you're on a quest. You're on a quest to get something. Maybe you, some of you guys are really worried. Maybe you, there's a rebound shit going on here. Some of you guys, it might be a person. Knight of Swords, as I said, and I told you that this is no good. No good, no good guy, no good person when this person shows up in terms of love. It really isn't. It's just no good. Because this person goes in, they come out, they do whatever they want, but they are in no way, shape or form in love. Knight of Swords. I'll tell you the cards I think are no good in love. Chariot, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, the Magician to a certain extent as a person. These are very shallow dudes, you know. They don't have a romantic uh, ideology. They've got a sexual ideology. You know, it's all me, me, me with this type of energy. So I feel that, you know, this could be a person. If this is a person on your mind, this person is very, very quick. They're in and out of your life. And the reason that they're in and out of your life, the reason why the mental and emotional state is this person here, why you're thinking of them, is because you're worried. And that worry could be feeding through, as I said. Do you think this person's got other people on the go? The Three of Cups shows up. And this is the right man or woman for that Three of Cups. Trust me. That Knight of Swords is a party dude, and he enjoys company. Three of Cups. Some of you guys, the energy might be around a love triangle. Three of Cups can also be a love triangle as well. Mentally and emotionally, it might have you restless. And why are you restless? Because you've really got something to worry about. Knight of Swords says, I feel anxiety. But whichever way, to me, the mentally and emotional... Thing. I don't know whether some of you guys are drinking. And is it mentally working its way down to being restlessness here? Is that because you're worried? Is there somebody out here who's causing you issues? Is this person a party person? They're not truly a committed individual. Is that what's got you worried? Or are you worried about being on your own? Or do you feel that time is running out, so I've got to do something about the situation? But it's all based in fear and worry, if that's the case. And that's never very good. What's going on in your personal situation, Libra? Well, the energies around the Three of Wands, difficult cards. Three of Wands, as I've always said, it's not always that you're looking to the future, no way. Sometimes it is you're longing, you're waiting. So the energies might be for some of you guys around waiting for something to happen. The two ones can be where we've invested in something and now we're waiting for the payoff. All right, we've done all the hard work, we've laid down the roots with that Two of Wands and now we're waiting for our ships to come in on it. We're waiting for the recognition of all our hard work, we're waiting for someone to say, oh yeah, what you did was good. In other words, you put all the hard work into a relationship, now you're waiting for someone. Sometimes this is about long distance communication, all right? Sometimes this is communication from um, abroad or that type of thing. Some of you guys might be waiting, the energies might be around waiting for communication, all right? Or waiting for somebody to come back and say, I recognize that you are wonderful, or I recognize that you've put a lot of effort into this relationship and I want to be with you. Sometimes this card shows up when it says, well, I'm looking to the future. I'm no longer focusing on the past. The past, those two ones are definitely behind me and now I'm waiting for something else to happen in my life. So it just depends. Energies are around those two main factors, I feel, for Libra. What is it that you're actually experiencing in your present situation, though, Libra? Well, the struggle's going on here. These cards are amazing. So in the present situation, you guys are struggling here. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, you get that card. It says, I've got a real burden on my back. Who are you struggling with? Yourselves or with somebody else? That is what I'd like to know. Should tell us in this card why the struggle is going on. It's something to do with the past, the Six of Cups. I think, because you've got this card here. Now, it's saying that for some of you guys, you are struggling with a lot of burdens, a lot of ideas. A lot of fire energy on your back. And why is that? Six of Cups. 
Could be children, but it's a love reading. So I would say that this is rooted in the past. And why is it rooted in the past? Well, it's feeding through to the energies around this being that you guys are waiting. This is not looking to the future, I feel. Because to me, this is saying that the energies around the Three of Wands. I think if you were looking to the future, you wouldn't be struggling with the past. All right. So I feel that you guys are possibly struggling. And the reason for that struggle is the Six of Cups, the past. And therefore, the energies might be could be that you're still looking to the future but you are still struggling with the past here but for some of you guys you might still be waiting for something to happen here with that three of wands all right and your mind might be on a knight of wands knight of swords now the knight of swords can really get you this type of individual can really get you because this person isn't you know this is one of the typical bad boys of the of the tarot with the knight of swords when you get a knight of swords leader this is a badass this is somebody who can get you right from your toes up to your head. Yeah, this is the type of person who makes you feel incredible when you're around them, but they're in and out of your life. They're never really, you know, this is the type of person that gets a lot of people. You know, it's usually the people who are there sometimes, but then they're not there. And those are the people that a lot of people want to hang on to. Sometimes it's because of a lack of self-worth within oneself anyway. All right, but this is probably a bad boy, some of you guys, that's on your, your mind, I feel here. Just judging, judging by the other cards, I feel there's a bad boy, a bad girl here. And the reason that you can't stop thinking about them mentally and emotionally is because you're anxious. Why are you anxious? Well, it's feeding through to the energies being the Three of Cups. Maybe they're dilly-dallying with other people. They're going out, they're drinking, they're having a good time. And therefore, it could be, well... I'm struggling. Why are you struggling? Well, I'm struggling with this relationship. Some of you guys, it might be with the kids. Maybe you've got kids for them. Maybe you're a bum baby mama or baby father or something like that, you know? But some of you guys are struggling because of this, and it's because of this relationship. It might also be because of the relationship. It doesn't have to be the past, but it can also be whether the relationship is terribly, terribly immature. The person hasn't grown up yet. We're still at, the, you know, one stage one. We haven't really matured into this relationship. And therefore, the energies are about the Three of Wands. And Three of Wands as well. Could be some of you guys are trying to look ahead. You're trying to put this behind you. For some of you guys, it could simply be, well, I'm still waiting for this person to contact me. Especially if that Knight of Swords hasn't been around lately. What are your hopes and desires concerning love? Remember, this could be a fellow air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Usually Knight of Swords is a Gemini, but does not have to be. Around your hopes, well, it, the energies again, a lot of sword cards showing up for Libra. Whoo, hella, jeez. Yeah, I mean, Eight of Swords is showing up, is showing the energies around what your hopes are here. The, the Eight of Swords represents being trapped, mentally trapped, physically trapped, the inability to really do anything about a situation. Um, this is you again, Swords, showing up here, Libra. So the energies are around something entrapping you something but that also the eyes of swords represents uh other people's thoughts ideas that might be holding you back into a certain place the eyes of swords could also be a card that represents something of a frustration going on here or the inability to recognize that you can free yourself from a situation at any time you so wish but you're being brainwashed sometimes it's the card where shows being brainwashed in a certain way of thinking so you think you can't free yourself but what are your actual hopes concerning your hopes and desires concerning love well, the magician, and the magician represents to free yourself. It represents to have the resources, the talent, the skills, the knowledge to do something about a situation to move out. So the magician, in terms of hopes, is, I feel, is something to do with something you can do, okay, relating to this. Starting all over again, maybe having the um, an amazing individual. May, the magician also suggests, I want to make something happen. So the hopes may be, maybe you want a surprise. Maybe you want this person to do something. Because the energies around your hopes are you're in one way mode, one way thought mode with this Eight of Swords. And maybe that eight, that magician is, uh, magician also means to manifest. So maybe your hopes are to manifest something or maybe this person will manifest. Maybe they'll show up, maybe they'll show you that they're not so bad or that, you know, they're not as bad as you thought that they were. And, you know, they're going to come back and they're going to, you know, the magician is the type of person that will present a bunch of flowers or take you out for a surprise meal to a fancy restaurant, that type of thing. And what's the reason for your hopes being the magician? Well, the moon. You know, these are tricky energies around you, Libra, because the moon being the reason for the magician. Moon and magician aren't really great combinations in a way, because sometimes this is somebody who 
pulls on a mask. There's a fake illusion around how somebody acts. But the reason that you are hoping for the magician is because of the moon. And the moon is deep-seated fears. And I feel that you guys have some deep-seated fears. And also some very, very intense emotions towards a particular person. So your hopes being the magician, I feel, is for this person to come in and maybe surprise you. To manifest something out of thin air, which is what the magician is. Pulls out some party trick. Shows you something off a surprise maybe with that magician card. And that's because of the moon. You've got some deep-seated fears showing up here. Because this moon card here, in the um, root issue Libra, is feeding through to those to this energy being around the Age of Swords, you're in lockdown mode mentally. This is something I feel for some of you guys is absolute lockdown mode mentally around an individual. And the only thing you think is going to relieve you from it is somebody else's actions. And I feel that this is the magician card here that you're hoping for. But what are your expectations concerning love? And this should show reality. What's it around? Well, the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands represents changes, moves, passion, you might be, the energies might be, well, this person, I told you that this Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands were the same people, and I feel this is the same energy, personally. So your expectations are around uh, moves, uh, confidence, um, excitement. Uh, are you expecting, is the energies around this person is too much of a playboy? Because these are two playboys, Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands are the same energies. What is it? Uh, also, this is the card that says somebody is expectations with the Knight of Wands would well be well. This person is not particularly committed. They're in and they're out. They like to uh, arrive, but they they don't. They like to depart, but never arrive. So there is an instability when it comes to love concerning that Knight of Wands being the energies around what you're expecting and what are you actually expecting? I'm expecting a negative card to show here, or at least a card that would show some form of self acceptance of a particular person. I feel. Wow, Six of Pentacles. But Six of Pentacles is one-sided love. When you get the Six of Pentacles, it means that love is one-sided. It's a one-sided relationship. It's not give and take. Not really. Some people want to explain it that way, but I don't explain it that way. I feel that you're expecting that this is a one-sided relationship. So there is, therefore, for me, a card that represents self-acceptance of what's going on here. And that's because the energies around this, this person's in and out, in and out. They're not particularly committed, and I don't feel that you're expecting this person to be committed. And therefore, you're expecting, maybe with that Six of Pentacles, a one-sided relationship. A relationship of convenience, if you if, if you like. And therefore, what's the reason for the Six of Pentacles? And this should show somebody who's non-committed, maybe, with this. This should show us that this is the, the person, maybe. Let's see what shows up. Seven of Pentacles, that's in, because of the Seven of Pentacles. I feel that you've evaluated. I feel that you are expecting that this is a one-sided relationship. And it could be because of what this person's put in. You're looking at what's been grown. What has grown in terms of this relationship? What has been invested in the relationship? Now, it's not a negative card, the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles represents investments that you make. Time, effort, that type of thing. But the Six of Pentacles for me is about one-sided relationships many of the time in the tarot. I've never liked this card as a love card. I don't believe that it's about love and take, um, give and take. I believe it's about receiving things. I mean, it could be, you know, you're expecting to receive a gift maybe with the Six of Pentacles from this individual. And that's because of the Seven of Pentacles. But it wouldn't make any sense to me looking at all the other energies. All right. Maybe you're hoping for a surprise with that magician, but it's based on the moon, and the moon is illusion as well. So some of you guys might be hoping that this person's going to surprise you by some, you know, slap-up meal in a hotel. They'll call you and say, actually, I bought you some lovely roses, and, you know, uh, I'm going to pick you up at eight tonight and get dressed in your finest dinner jacket or your finest dress and we're going out for dinner but it's based on a lie because it's the moon the illusion it's based on your illusions it's based on your fantasies all right it's based on your fantasies you i feel for some of you guys you want somebody to be a certain way that they're not what you're expecting though is the six of pentacles and i feel that this might be something that's one-sided because your energies are showing around your expectations being that knight of wands and this is somebody who's in and out of a relationship knight of wands are never serious about love they're just not that type of energy. Fast and ferocious, fast lover, in and out, quick, quick, you know. Sometimes around, sometimes not. I told you this night of wands was the mate of the Knight of Swords. All right. It could be that what you're expecting is somebody else. Fire sign. But it's another bad boy, you see. So maybe some of you guys are attracting this type of individual into your life. 
And it might be you're expecting the Six of Pentacles. Maybe this person will ask you out, put some attention on you. And maybe that's because of the Seven of Pentacles. Maybe you guys have been investing elsewhere in other relationships too. Who knows? Let's have a look at what hidden factors are showing up for love in February, Libra. Well, here we go. So around your hidden factors, what you're not seeing is the energies are showing a king. This is a king of pentacles, an earth sign individual. This should be somebody who's quite loyal, quite faithful, quite a nice person. They are really kind of interested in things that you're interested in. This is a hard worker. You know, you'd been dealing with knights up until now. Now you've got someone that you're not seeing. Energy's being around a king. So this is different. You're dealing with boys, girls here. Knight of swords, knight of wands. Now you're dealing with a man or a woman. You get me? Uh, this is a king, proper, proper person. What are you actually not seeing coming in though? I hope this is a good card. Why the high priestess? Oh, why have we got that? Why have we got high priestess as being the hidden factor? Because hidden high priestess means hidden, which is why it's difficult. Secrets. All right. Energies are around a king. And what you're not seeing is this person has a secret. Is this the king of pentacles the same as this knight of swords and knight of wands? Is this the person that we're looking at here, but it's actually revealing itself to be the king? Because it's showing uh, something secret here being revealed. So what you're not seeing a secret is going to be revealed here. And it's around a king. And why is that secret? What's the reason for the secret? High priestess is a secret being revealed. King of wands. What the hell? The reason for the secret being revealed. Somebody's going to tell you something maybe. And it seems to be around a king of pentacles. What you're not seeing is a high priestess. High Priestess can also be a secret lady, but it's because of the King of Wands. So High Priestess is often a secret that needs to come out. Alright, this is what the High Priestess is. She's something that needs to be unveiled. Wouldn't make any sense to say something remains a secret. There's a secret being revealed here, High Priestess, and that's because of the King of Wands. But the energies around... What you're not seeing yet is a king. There's two people here. What you're not seeing yet, the energies are focused around the king of pentacles. But what you're actually not seeing is that there is a secret here. And that secret is based on a king of wands. So is this person bisexual or something like that? Is that why they're not around? This king must be this knight of swords then. It must be this individual here. Because it says there's a secret. I mean, it would be different, I feel, that if what, what, you were not, what, what you weren't seeing was, you know, a new relationship. Ace of Cups is showing here. And the Two of Cups being the reason for that or something like that. Or the Two of Cups and the reason being the Ace of Cups. I could say, well, it's a new person coming in. But I don't think that's the case because this person has something that they need to reveal to you. And that revelation is based upon another person, King of Wands. So this person is revealing something about this King of Wands. It's either a friend is revealing something about a King of Wands, and this King of Wands is this person here, possibly these two energies here, or it's this King of Pentacles here, and what's being revealed is via a King of Wands. So this is either, I feel, an Earth sign or an Air sign that you guys are possibly dealing with, to be honest with you. What's happening in the immediate future for your love lives? Maybe, just maybe, this person here, you know, maybe they're revealing something to you about work. King of Wands can often show work. Well, I couldn't do something because my boss held me back, you know. My boss told me I couldn't do, you know, I couldn't go out and, I, you know, I had to work late. So I couldn't do something here. All right. But this person does show up as a, a playerish type of individual. You've got a knight of swords. And I'm pretty sure that this isn't, this might be you guys who are feeling restless here. All right. To which this would have to be, I feel, around some form of a drink shit going on here, Libra, to be honest. It wouldn't make any other sense to me unless this showed as a person and the energies around this person of other people. All right, and this is the root of it, it's getting you worried. Anyway, the immediate future shows the Four of Pentacles. Now, this can show possessiveness in relationships, but it can also show somebody who holds back and somebody who's quite possessive of their own personal space and somebody who's quite greedy and doesn't really want to share anything with their per with their partner and they're all for themselves when you get that four of pentacles but what's the actual immediate future saying to you guys well the empress that's interesting because the empress represents growth in a relationship a prosperous relationship here the energy seems to be around somebody who finds it difficult to let go because Four of Pentacles is also, I'm still holding on to something here, I find it difficult to let go and therefore the immediate future shows the Empress, the inability to let go, uh, the in 
not the inability, the uh, potential of real growth. This relationship is based on growth, uh, fertility, um, happiness, that type of thing. Uh, the Empress is an exceptional energy to get in terms of love, abundant love, uh, very solid love. Uh, love that has the ability to trans every, transcend everything else. It is ruled by Venus afterwards. So it's a lovely card to get in the immediate future, but why do we have the Empress here? Because of the Queen of Wands. What are you guys again? You are um, Libra. This is another individual here. But why do we have the Empress because of the Queen of Wands? Well, the energy is around the Four of Pentacles. Somebody who's holding back. I read it as possessiveness. The Queen of Wands doesn't have to always represent someone. This can mean I feel extraordinarily passionate towards an individual. All right. Maybe it was a night of passion. Maybe this is pregnancy or something. Night of passion with that Queen of Wands. It does speak of night of passion, hotel rooms, when you get Queen of Wands energy. But also this can be a person here. What you're not seeing for some of you guys, there might be a secret that's being revealed. It's on either based on the King of Wands or it's from a King of Wands, something like that. But the immediate future is showing the Empress. All right, Empress is a burgeoning romance, a growing romance. And that romance is based on a Queen of Wands. And the energies are around somebody who's quite held back. So maybe there is somebody else factoring into this, this Queen of Wands energy here. What's the overall outcome for love? Well, the sun is good. I mean, it shows up. It shows something positive, clarity, whichever way you want to look at it. Optimism, maybe. What's the actual... Well, the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords represents to cut things out. It can show communication, though, direct communication. But often when you get this in terms of love, this can be depression, or it can be, a, well, I need to cut something out here in terms of this relationship. And what's the reason for that Queen of Swords? Because the weighing up of the situation, the Two of Pentacles... I thought some of you guys, the sun is saying, you know, you make a really positive decision for yourself. And for some of you guys, it might be to cut out a particular person. It's either a king of pentacles or a king of wands. And that's because you've weighed up the situation or because maybe this person's been two-timing you. Uh, two of pentacles can mean someone's two-timing you as well. Okay? Especially as we've got a queen of wands and we've got a secret here that needs to come out. Potentially hidden factors. All right. I feel that, you know, it's a good reading because it shows you guys taking control. I mean, this is if it doesn't relate to you, this reading, I'm sorry, okay? But it does kind of show, a situation, you know, some of you will probably write back and say, well, I'm in a perfectly good relationship and I just wanted to see if it was going to get, you know, get better and stuff like that. And some readings do show things are getting amazing for some people in their relationship. Um, but, you know, some readings will say, you know, tell somebody to clear off. And that's what the Queen of Swords does. You know, also though, this can be communication, straightforward communication, because you need to resolve things with the two of pentacles. So it's not always that you're going to cut someone out. It means, you know, let's talk about it like grown adults. Let's let's discuss this. And so there might be some positive things happening around discussions here with the Queen of Swords. She is a communication card. You get Queen of Swords, Queen of uh, King of Swords. They're talking about direct communication with another individual, and that's because you need to sort things out with the two of pentacles here. Okay, very very interesting reading. Very interesting. Some of you guys, I do feel you're dealing with a player type knight of swords. And, you you know, the reason that this person is on your mind is because you're worried about it. Seems to be around others. Three of cups. <clears throat> this person seems to like being around others. You've got that three of cups there. Some of you guys, there might be something to do with drink. Because mentally and emotionally, <coughs> you're very restless for something here. But that restlessness is based on some sort of worry. Maybe some of you guys are worried about being on your own. And, you know, you feel that you need to find someone before time runs out, that type of thing. You are carrying a, carrying a burden, especially if you're looking for love here. It's based on the past with that Six of Cups energy. And I feel that some of you guys, the energies are around trying to move on with the Three of Wands. You could be still waiting for someone or you could be trying to move on with the Three of Wands. Uh, I feel if there's somebody here, if this is an individual, the Knight of Swords, I feel the magician in your hopes is to... Uh, you know, have something happen, make something happen with this individual. The energies are around not being able to forget someone, Eight of Swords here, and it's based on the moon. The reason for that is the moon. The moon is illusions. You're still, you know, very intense about an individual. There's a lot of illusions still with that person. Sometimes it's a lot of dreams going on at night. 
about an individual. So some of you guys might still be dreaming about someone that's no longer around you and you want to have them back. Or they're in and out of your life, especially if this is somebody that's still there, Knight of Swords. Your expectations are based on a Knight of Wands. So the energies are, it might be that somebody moved on here. Being the, the energies of the Knight of Wands, somebody left. And therefore, what you're expecting is a Six of Pentacles. You're still going to be asking for a relationship or you're asking for something. And this person still has control. So for some of you guys, this Six of Pentacles, which is why I'm very dubious to say this is a give and take relationship. I always have been with this card. I feel that if the energies are that this person moved, Knight of Wands can also mean that this person moved on then what you're expecting is, is that you're still going to be asking and wanting from this person. This is the person here who's giving you, who decides whether they want to give you a chance or give somebody else a chance. You can see that there are many hands. One, two, three. Three hands I can see on this. So usually when you get the Six of Pentacles as a, in a love reading, this is somebody here who is very much in demand. Lots of people. This is a very popular character. This is per somebody who, um, you know has a lot of men or a lot of women after them. They're very interesting. Somebody who's very, it's like a Six of Wands character, somebody who's very, very popular. So your expectations are is that you are just probably one of many here. This person's moved on. You're probably just one of many. And the reason that you're feeling that you're one of many, and you're still got your hand out, you're still wanting something from this individual Libra, could be because you're still invested in the relationship, the Seven of Pentacles. And therefore, what you're not seeing, uh, the energies are around a King of Pentacles. So for some of you guys, this might be an earth sign that you're dealing with here. What you're not seeing is the High Priestess. And High Priestess, usually, if you have this in a pyramid mead reading and she comes out at the top, it says the secret has to be revealed. It's going to be revealed. So you're not seeing that something might be revealed to you. And that secret is based on a King of Wands. So, who knows? For some of you guys, it might be that somebody in your life is a hard worker might be that they can't do something over the Valentine's period, over February 2007, because they're working. King of Wands is entrepreneurial spirit. But it also be, might be that they're, you know, the energies are around a King of Pentacles, and there's a revelation coming to you, what you're not seeing. There might be something that's coming to you in terms of a revelation, a secret being revealed, and that's because of the King of Wands. So this person could be telling you something, maybe about this King of Pentacles, or vice versa. The immediate future, future shows the Empress, and that's interesting because we've got a reason for it, and that's another individual. So the Empress represents a burgeoning relationship, a fruitful burgeoning relationship. Is this what's being revealed to you? Is this person with somebody else, the Queen of Wands? Is this person getting to know someone else? Because it's based on Venus attraction. Empress can also mean a mutual attraction. So in the immediate future, it could be that there is immediate attraction. Might be the reason for that mutual attraction is the Queen of Wands energy, and this is not... Uh, you Libra, but that's you because you're Queen of Swords. Actually, that is actually you in the overall outcome. It's your call here. Because the energies around this immediate future, the Four of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles says somebody that's quite greedy and somebody who wants it all and somebody that doesn't have the ability to give any type of love or even to receive it. That it's all about it's mine, mine, mine. This person is awfully material. And therefore, the immediate future is showing, you know, the Empress. Burgeoning relationship, but it's based on a Queen of Wands energy. The reason for that relationship seems to be the Queen of Wands, somebody else. Material relationship, or maybe this person's just with somebody else for material reasons. Who knows? The outcome shows positivity, though. The energies are around the sun. Things becoming clearer and clearer to you, and it's good. Whatever way you want to look at it. Because you are the overall outcome, Libra. Queen of Swords represents a Libra individual, so this is you. And this is you, your ability to um, act in a very fair and logical way. So you're either going to cut this person out, which Queen of Swords can do. This isn't, your, this isn't depression, this is you saying fuck off, possibly with the Queen of Swords. Or you're just going to have some direct communication with this individual. And that's based on the Two of Pentacles energy. Could be based on, you know, you've got some very strong words with someone who was two-timing you with the Two of Pentacles. Or it could be that you cut this person out because this person was two-timing you. Judging by the amount of pentacles, I wouldn't be surprised if it was an earth sign individual here. Or it could be that you ha you're having communication with someone here, direct words, because you want to sort something out, Two of Pentacles. You need to know what, what the hell's going on here. Let's have a look at what your angel reading is saying to you. Let's have a look at what advice is coming from the Romance Angels. Universe Spirit Angels, showing what is the advice that you have for Libra in the month of February 2017? What is the advice that you have for their love lives? Show me the advice that you have for Libra and their love lives in the month of February 2017. What is the advice 
Show me the advice that you have for Libra. What is the advice that you have for Libra concerning their love lives in the month of February 2017? Show me. Wow, look at this. Let go of uh, control issues. That's where your control issue is here. It's the incessant worrying around somebody here. Let go of control issues. If you're trying to control something, let go of it. And I feel that you finally let go of it here anyway as the Queen of Swords. She's all about the letting go. She's not holding on. The Queen of Swords don't hold on to shit, not unless they're depressed. I, don't, I think you just possibly are looking to sever ties or you're looking to put something to, you know, to rest, but you need to kind of get, you know, get the information that you need to, to get in order to do that. Um, let's have a look. So... Let go of control issues. The romance angels have heard your prayers about your love life. Now it's up to you to allow them to help, to allow their help to manifest by stepping out of their way. And this is where the hopes is as well. This is about allowing uh, the universe just to manifest things in the way they are because of the moon. And you recognise also with these two cards. It's not just about, well, maybe you're hoping that this person's going to rock up and they're going to surprise you. It might be that you're hoping to be able to let go and let God because you recognise with that moon and the eight of swords, they're not a good combination together, that you're holding on to something here. You really are mentally and emotionally. They're very difficult to let go. Um... By con trying to control other people or external circumstances, you'll only frustrate yourself and slow down your answered prayer. There are plenty of times in life uh, that call for you to take charge, but this isn't one of them. Of course, it's fine to have your preferences, practice visualizations, and hold intentions. Definitely ask the angels for your desires. This card is a reminder, however, that your prayer may be answered differently from what you had in mind. Be open to all possibilities and trust in God's infinite wisdom and compassionate love. Control issues are based upon fears, and we can see that with the moon card down below, that others, including God, won't live up to your expectations. This is also called outlining, where you hand the universe a script of how you want it and everyone to behave. Outlining could cause you to overlook an even more beautiful way in which your prayers may be answered. So please call upon the romance angels to elevate your levels of trust so that you can enjoy the creative avenues by which true love comes to you. And that's a really interesting one. I do see some of you guys trying to control the situation here because it's playing on your mind a lot. The brilliant thing is, I mean, you know, we, we see this still here. You know for some of you guys around your expectations somebody's moved on, but you're still there holding your hand out. Your expectations are, well, still they'll give to me. They'll give to me over somebody else because I'm invested in this. But this is all in the in the illusionary thing going on with this moon card. However, either something is said or something comes to you know, to light. This high priestess is something that you don't know coming in yet. Seems to give you the the you know the kick up the jacksy some of you guys need to let go of something, to sever ties with something, which is what the Queen of Swords is, or just to directly talk about it so you sort through the issue. And that's going to enable you to kind of let go of whatever this situation is. We're going to have a quick look at healing. I think we should do a healing with the uh, the angels oracle card uh, for you guys. Let's see what the advice is from the angels. Universe Spirit, what is the advice that you have for Libra? Their love lives in the month of February 2017. What is the advice? What is the advice that you have for Libra in the month of February 2017 concerning love? Show me. Wow, it keeps coming up. Jeez, do you see that? Surrender and release. You've just had another one that's come up and he's saying the same thing. There is something you guys are holding on here and you need to let it go, Libra. He's saying, look at it, look. You have let go of control issues and you've got surrender and release. There is something that you're expecting here because you can't let go of a particular person. But the angels are saying you've got to let go of this. You have to let go. And you do because you're the Queen of Swords here. And the Queen of Swords doesn't mess about. That's you, Libra. Uh... Let go and allow God and the angels to help you. Everything that you release will either be replaced by something better or will be returned to you healed. When you hold on tightly to a part of your life that's not working, it has no room to heal. Whether you're unhappy with your love life, finances, career, home or health, this card asks you to let go. If you hang on to what these aspects of your life because of fear such as what if I can't find someone 
or something. And this could also be here, the need to find something, because maybe you're still holding on to something from the past and you're fearing being on your own. Then the situation will only worsen. However, if you're willing to open your hands and allow the situation to be freed, one of two situations will occur. Either it will be washed away from you and replaced by a better situation, or the situation will heal in a miraculous way. By drawing this card, the angels ask you to try not to control the outcome of your troubling situation. Let go and let God help you. And it says the same damn thing. You're doing something here, Libra, and you need to let go of it. You need to find a way to surrender, to release to retreat from it. It's really vital. He said the same thing with both cards. And that's no bloody coincidence either. That's incredible. We're going to do one more card getting into the vortex. And let's see what Abraham Hicks has to say about this. Universe spirit. Abraham. Abraham, what is the advice, Abraham, you have for Libra and their love lives in the month of February 2017? Please, Abraham, what is the advice that you have for Libra, some mineral rising signs concerning their love lives in February 2017, show me. The universal law of attraction is managing my expansion. This says the law of attraction is the universal manager of all vibration, which expands to everything that exists through the universe. And so, at the same time that the law of attraction is responding to the vibrational content of your physical thoughts, it is also responding to the vibrational content of your inner being. You are attracting in. This moon card is another card that represents when you're starting to attract things in. This is the card that, you know, this is the sixth sense card. This is the card of the unseen. But it's what the vibrations that you put out. See how the mental is influencing the physical. You've got the eight of swords here, and that's the mental thoughts and the mental energy you have. But what this is doing is this is rooted. The reason for your thoughts here is rooted in your feelings. When you do law of attraction work, everything that you bring into your world starts off as a thought and then goes on to be a feeling. And when you have those thoughts and you start to put the feeling out there based on those thoughts, you start to either attract in more negative or, um, negative or positive situations. And because these can be two negative cards, I feel, especially when they're together, I feel that you are, a, you know, you're still in that zone. You're not in a place of release when I'm seeing those two cards. So I would say whatever this situation is concerning, love, you need to let go of control issues and surrender and release whatever these energies, especially in your hopes and desires section here, because this is what you're really feeling here. And you're still invested in something here, in the... Um, expectations you know somebody's left knight of wands energies are around knight of wands you know somebody's left but this is also you're still feeling very very passionately inspired by an individual and therefore your expectations are to receive something from them despite the fact that they've got other people that they're probably looking at they're obviously interested in because you're still invested with that seven of pentacles and it's saying stop being invested in this you know, let it go. If this person is right for you, they will not go by you. They'll come back to you, but better. If they're wrong for you, then they're not going to, they're going to carry on doing the same thing over and over again. And you knew, you do know it's time to let go. Very, very interesting reading for the month uh, concerning your love lives, Libra. Really, really good reading. I would like to say thanks ever so much. I hope you enjoy Valentine's no matter what you're doing. For some of you guys, this reading will apply. For some of you not, it's just the way that tarot works, okay? It hones in on a certain section of people and it will pick up on their vibes. And other people will say, well, you're fine. You're fine. You're in a relationship. You're happy. Don't worry about it, you know? So for those of you it resonates with, you can always let me know what you thought. Uh, but yeah, Libra, have a great Valentine's and I'll see you guys again in March. Take care.